It's Sandra here from Create in Spain using Scal4. I thought today I'd do a brief video on using text and, well, text paths of various sorts and how to do the various things that for people making cards and doing scrapbooking that you're likely to want to do. Now, most people who do any text whatsoever can cope with straightforward text segments. Not too difficult. And so I'm not going to concentrate on how to use these various things because you probably used them before. But text to path is slightly different and there are different methods to be used for different effects that you want to get. So I've drawn a few various shapes of the common types that you're likely to want to put text onto and I'm going to show you how to get the right result. Okay, so the first one is... We have the straightforward type tool, we have vertical type, we have type on path, and that's the one we want for this particular one. And so we can just do our typing. Hello, it's nice to see you. Okay, and we can, by using the vertical offset, we can put that up from the, um, the line or below the line or whatever. And by using the tracking, we can adjust the spaces between the letters, we can alter the width and the size, and so on and so forth. Now just make sure that you don't convert this to an object, because once you've converted it to an object, then you lose all the ability to adjust text. Okay, It becomes an object and can only be adjusted as objects are adjusted. So that one's the easy one. The next one is how to put text around a circle, and there are a couple of different ways of doing this. Um, the Type on Path tool, which is the same one we used here, can be used to put text on a circle. And uh, So I'm going to go, hello, nice to see you. Now as you can see from that, it may be okay if you're just going to do a very small amount of text, but if you want to do a whole sentence or you want to split it so that you've got hello, nice to, and then see you down the bottom, this isn't quite so easy to use. It's a lot more difficult to get the effect that you want um, doing that. But if you just want a word, a name, or something like that across the top, yeah, this is, this is fine. This is easy to use. And you can use your start offset to um, to actually position it, and yeah, it's it's easy enough. So this one we're not going to worry about too much. So I'm just going to move this one over here, and I'm going to move this one as well. Thinking about it, get it out of the way. Okay, now I'm going to take this one. It's not a true circle, but you'll get the idea. Now with this one, what I'm going to do is do a different one which is type on an arch. And you'll notice that we get these boxes come up here, which gives us the radius of the arch we want to type on, the start angle and the text outside or inside. Now the radius is pretty obvious. It's the distance between the center to the outside. And if this were a true circle, then that would be fine. It isn't at the moment. So whatever I do, the text will be slightly off, but this is what you can do with this. Okay, you don't even have to have the circle there. Oops. <laughs> there we go. But you get the idea. Now that is what it looks like when it's on the outside. Okay, and it goes from left to right. I'm just going to take this away. There we go. Now I'm going to change this to the inside and type the same thing. Or roughly the same thing. And it goes round in the other direction. But it also means that it puts it inside the radius of five centimeters, not the outside. Now you can alter that simply by putting the tracking, sorry, the offset so that it goes further out. If you select it like so, 
and do the vertical offset you can get it to do that all right so you don't have to mess around very much with that to get it as you want and it's also quite handy if you want to have one lot of letters over the top one word at the top and then one word on the inside or you might have one on the inside there and one on the outside you have much more flexibility using that particular method so bear in mind that is text to arch okay now it's all very well if you have a true circle as you can see this one's not quite right because this isn't a true circle but I'm going to move this out of the way I'm going to move that one out of the way actually I don't want that one. now what happens if you have an oval because if I were to use text to arch on a five centimeter um, yes I can do it but it's not going to fit is it even with a short word it would be likely not to fit if I select this if I can is it going to let me select it now I'm just going to select it that way okay it doesn't want me to do it right now if I go to outside and just have that turn around the other way it's it's going to go around a circle and this isn't a circle so whatever I do with this it's not going to fit that so it's not going to be an easy way of getting it to fit an oval there is however an easy way and what it is is quite simple we go back to our normal straightforward type tool and I'm going to put hello my viewers there we go just to be different and I agree that doesn't go around the oval at the moment but it's soon well we can go to the effects and this time all we're going to do is use the wrapper tool and this will give you different options as you can see at the moment it's going around like so and we can move it okay just make things easier I'm going to move that instead okay right so I'm going to go to my effects go to my wrapper and it's right as it happens that is roughly the angle that I would want so not really a problem <clears throat> but if it wasn't it's quite easy to curve this so you can change the top diameter and the bottom diameter and just forget that this is designed to go around a glass or whatever just forget that entirely um, if you increase the top diameter and you decrease the bottom diameter you can still get this to go around in a circle pretty much you won't need to change it that much but you'll be able to get it to go around whichever you want if you want to change it so that it goes the other way you simply take the top, take the top diameter down and put the bottom diameter up and you can curve it any way you like again you have an offset and you have the scale you can keep your proportions and you have your auto preview and that will allow you to basically bend your letters around whatever shape you so wish okay I hope that's explained it a little I said you probably find that a majority of graphic software has slightly different ways of doing things so maybe you were just running short of ideas as to how to actually get text to do things but this is quite handy particularly if you want to do um, a different sort of shape you could even have a pear shape and still manage to get the text around it okay thanks for watching take care bye bye